Hello, this is Nick from Bimpure. Here are my top 10 favorite new features in the new Revit 2026. If you want to read my full thoughts and impressions of this new release, check out the blog post in the video description. Enjoy! The first new feature is improved Topo Solids. Topo Solids replaced the Topo Surface tool in Revit 2024, but many features were lacking. First, you can now recess subdivisions. In the old Revit, the subdivision tool can only be used with a positive value and cannot be recessed. Also, you can switch to different materials, but you cannot switch to a different type. In Revit 2026, you can now set a negative value to subdivisions. This makes it easier to model elements such as roads and sidewalks. Instead of just switching the material of the subdivision, you can use a subdivision type. This makes it easier to model all the site elements. Another improvement is that subdivisions can be used in schedules and in the visibility graphics menu. In this case, you can see the subdivision subcategory in the VG menu. You can turn it off or set graphic overrides. Also, you can create a new subdivision schedule. This could be helpful to schedule elements such as roads and sidewalks. You can now copy and paste slab points and lines. In the old Revit, you cannot copy points when modifying a top of solid, floor, or roof. That means you have to retype the height each time you add a point. In the new Revit, you can use Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste the points. Another improvement of Topo Solids is more accurate cotton fill volumes. In previous versions, users reported inaccuracies of the cotton fill volume. This should be fixed in Revit 2026. There's a new option called Cut Void Stability. You can activate this option if you're struggling to cut Topo Solids. The second best new feature is the new Save Position. In the old Revit, there is no easy way to ensure all views are placed at the same spot on each sheet. In Revit 2026, there is a new Save Position feature. Position the view on the sheet. In the ribbon, click on Save Position. Give a name to the current position. Afterwards, you cannot move the view on the sheet. The position is locked. Now, try to place a similar view to another sheet. Instead of manually positioning it, go to the Save Position drop-down menu and pick the one you've just created. The view will be automatically moved and locked. The Save Position parameter also appears in the Instance properties. You can switch to different positions or remove it entirely if you want to manually position the view. You can see a list of all Save Positions by clicking on Manage Positions. You can also see how many views have been assigned to specific positions. When creating a new position, you can pick between different options for the view anchor. In most cases, you should stick to view origin. The third best new feature is the ability to create walls by room or by segment. In the old Revit, creating finished walls has to be done manually or with the use of third-party plugins. In the new Revit, you can see a new option when creating walls. Click on Place by Room. Click on the room to create finished walls along the boundaries. You can see that by default, the new finished walls conflict with the door. To solve this issue, use the other join feature that was introduced in Revit 2025. The finished walls will be automatically joined with the other walls and the door will cut this new element. You can use the by segment tool to pick individual room lines instead of an entire room. Finally, you can press the tab key to decide if you want to include the architectural columns or not when placing the finished walls. The fourth feature is the ability to see imported CAD files in the Manage Links menu. In the old Revit, you can only see linked files in the Manage Links. In the new version, you can also see imported files. First, notice that the position of the Manage Links menu has changed on the ribbon. It is now the first tool on the left. In this menu, notice that you can see both the linked and imported CAD files. In the case of the imported files, you can see the count, which means there are three instances of this imported file in the project. When the CAD is selected, Click on Show to open a view and see the file in the project. Remember that importing CAD files in Revit is not a good practice, as it makes your Revit models bigger and the files cannot be updated and reloaded. Always use linked CAD files instead. With this new feature, it's going to be easier to find and delete all imported CAD files. In addition to DWG formats, the Manage Links menu also includes imported DXF, DGN, SKP, and AXM file formats. However, some formats such as SAT and 3DM are still not included. The fifth best new feature is the ability to use an instance-based reference label parameter for view markers. 
In the All Revit, when you create a view that references another one, a text displays next to the marker. This text is controlled as a type parameter and cannot be adjusted for each instance. If you change that type parameter, all views of that type will be affected. In the new Revit, there's still a type parameter for the reference label. However, you can see it has been renamed to default reference label. When you select the individual view, you can set a unique reference label for each one. Users were forced to use DOM text as a workaround, so this is a welcome change. Are you struggling to make the most out of Revit? Are your families and templates disorganized? Join Bimpure and unlock our pro template for Revit and our collections of doors and window families. This includes hundreds of high quality families used by thousands of AC professionals. In addition, get access to our catalog of Revit courses, including the popular Herrick Families course for Revit. Watch mini courses by various BIM and AC Tech masters on topics such as landscape, the Revit API, OpenBIM, and AI. Attend private live events or watch replays of previous live masterclasses on Revit topics. Enroll now at bimpure.com. Feature number six, compound structure without core layers. In the old Revit, you cannot create compound structures such as walls without an element in the core boundary. The layer just won't move up or down. By being unable to include elements outside of the core boundaries, it's much more difficult to control the wall joints. In the new Revit, you can now have compound elements without layers in the core boundary. In this case, we create a wall composition that only includes a brick material. This change makes it much easier to control wall finishes and exterior siding separately. This also applies to other compound system families such as floors, ceilings, and roofs. Feature number seven is the ability to customize layer priority in a compound structure. In the old Revit, the layer's priority number is linked to the layer's function. It cannot be controlled separately from that function. This can create problems when trying to adjust joints graphics. In the new Revit, the priority number is set separately from the function. This allows more flexibility to control the graphics of joints. Feature number eight is shared parameters in view markers and view lists. In the old Revit, you can create shared parameters for views. However, you cannot include these shared parameters as labels in view marker families. In the new Revit, you can now include shared parameters inside view marker families. For example, you could include a view classification label next to the marker. This gives users more flexibility to add helpful information in the view tags. For example, we can indicate the kind of view the marker is referring to. Feature number nine is new parameters and categories in sheet list. When creating sheet list schedules, you can now include information such as the sheet height, sheet width, and the scale. In this drop-down menu, you can switch to select fields from the title blocks category. We add the family and type parameter. Feature number 10 is the title block scale override. If multiple views of different scales are placed on a sheet, the text as indicated is displayed on the title block. In previous versions of Revit, it was impossible to modify this text. Users were forced to use annoying workarounds to display alternatives. In Revit 2026, there's a new title block type parameter called scale override multiple values. Enter any value you want in this field to replace the as indicated text. Join the BIMPure membership and become a Revit Mega Master. Unlock our collection of templates, families, and high-quality courses. Enroll now at BIMPure.com.